सो वॉट इज अ रूट किट इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ सिंपली एक्सप्लेन्ड विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ रूट किट हाउ डज इट वर्क हाउ डज इट इन्फेक्ट योर कंप्यूटर एंड स्प्रेड ओवर द नेटवर्क एंड विल ऑल्सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू रिमूव रूट किट्स एंड हाउ टू स्टे प्रोटेक्टेड फ्रॉम दीज काइंड ऑफ वायरसेस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट स्टार्ट विद वीडियो लेट स्टार्ट विद अ सिंपल डेफिनेशन ऑफ रूट किट वॉट इज अ रूट किट A rootkit is a computer program designed to provide continued privileged access to a computer while actively hiding its presence. The term rootkit is a connection of two words, root and kit. Originally a rootkit was collection of tools which enable admin level access to a computer or a network. Root refers to the admin level access or the root account on unix and linux systems and kit refers to the software or a tool kit well that's an official textbook definition let's start again what is a root kit the word root kit has two words root and kit the first word root is basically root access or system level access or let's say core level access in linux file system the hierarchy is quite simple everything or every folder every file is inside the root directory so the word root basically means accessing system level or the core files now coming back to the word kit as the name suggest a root kit is basically softwares or tool kit which provides root access now does this mean that it works only on linux since it works with root access and root accounts the answer is no The term is derived from Linux and Unix file system root but actually it works on both Linux and Windows. Some root kits also work on OS X that is on Mac. Next question is what can a root kit do? Well, a root kit allows someone to maintain command and control over a computer without the owner's permission or the user's knowledge. Once a root kit has been installed The controller of the rootkit has the ability to execute remote files and change system configuration of the host machine. Rootkit on an infected computer can actually spy and access log files and even spy on legit softwares. In our previous video we tried to explain about boot sector viruses and you might have a question is rootkit connected to a boot sector virus? Well the answer is quite simple. The answer is both yes and no. It is actually connected and works just like a boot sector virus, but a boot sector virus is quite serious stuff whereas rootkit is OS level stuff. So let's try to understand how it works. Every computer has a program called BIOS. BIOS stands for basic input output system. and as the name suggest it is basically a small driver or a piece of code or program which is embedded on your motherboard and which allows and guides the computer to boot into operating system even if you are running windows or if you are running linux you might have seen something like this on your system bios has many things and tons of drivers and kernels bios maintains a record which allows and guides the computer to boot into windows or linux operating system so this record is known as master boot record also known as bootstrap so usually a boot sector virus will infect and will override the boot record or master boot record or also known as boot strap in normal cases whenever you boot your computer your computer will take you through the bios settings then it will move on to the boot strap and boot strap will work as a list of do's and don'ts before starting your operating system so boot strap is basically a list of things that your computer does before starting your operating system so once you are infected with a boot sector virus this list is modified in our previous video we explained in detail how a boot sector virus works but in simple terms and in a single line a boot sector virus will infect the bootstrap that is a list which runs before 
the operating system is booted boot sector wires will work between the bios bootstrap and the operating system so that is how a boot sector virus works now coming back to your question is a boot sector virus and rootkit connected yes they both are connected and a rootkit is just like a boot sector virus and works in similar pattern but the it takes user level and system level access whereas a boot sector virus is infected and works inside your computer's hardware and in the bios thus getting a hardware level access so a boot sector virus is loaded before your operating system whereas a rootkit is loaded after your operating system but before a user logs into your system let's try to understand how a rootkit works unlike your boot sector virus a rootkit works on operating system level access that is on system level access actually whereas a boot sector virus loads before the operating system is loaded and has system wide access so what is the difference between system wide access and system level access a system level access is something like an administrator and you are the normal user whereas a system wide access is like modifying the computer's kernel drivers and even master boot record and even the whole operating system so a rootkit might be able to access the system 32 folder and even all the folders on your hard drive whereas a boot sector virus can actually change the hard drive's code and works before the operating system boots another major difference between a boot sector virus and your rootkit is basically a rootkit can be detected with an antivirus since a rootkit works on your operating system it can be detected by a software that is antivirus whereas a boot sector virus works before your operating system thus it cannot be detected and scanned by your antivirus now let's try to understand how computers are infected with rootkit and how do rootkit spread unlike boot sector virus a rootkit cannot spread without a trigger mechanism that is a boot sector virus will simply try to infect a computer once an infected pen drive is plugged into the computer whereas a rootkit is something that requires you to install something so for example if you are trying to install a cracked software you might have installed a rootkit program into your computer basically a rootkit will be installed if you install it that is if you install a program that contains rootkit the original program is known as the host program for example you might have downloaded something from the torrent and if you have downloaded a cracked operating system or even a cracked microsoft office license or any cracked software chances are rootkits are binded with these cracks now let's try to understand how rootkits are detected how to detect them and how to remove them so there are few key symptoms of any virus even rootkits have these kind of symptoms first and the most important symptom of having a rootkit infected computer is user account control popups you might see unwanted popups granting and asking for permissions and this is because the rootkit is trying to escalate privileges and try to get admin rights or admin access so how you can remove a rootkit Removing a rootkit is a two step process. The first step is to install a good antivirus. Usually I prefer using NPAV that is Net Protector Antivirus which is a feature rich Indian antivirus which has multiple features and even protects you and prevents boot sector viruses. So it has tools which allows you to actually uninstall all type of viruses and even prevent attacks like ransom attack so frankly speaking you can either use this or a good leading antivirus chances are if you have an antivirus you won't be affected second step is to format in case if you are still infected with the virus and if you still see these kind of pop ups then chances are your antivirus isn't working 
and you need to format your windows. Unlike boot sector virus, rootkits can be uninstalled and removed after a clean install of windows. Unless you are using a cracked windows and you may want to change your antivirus as well because it is not protecting since you are infected in the first place. Well that's all for this episode of Simply Explained. If you want to learn new things and if you are interested in to tech then I strongly suggest you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications.